everybody, how you doing? Greg here, and so I've had a few people comment on my uh, YouTube channel in regards to the space walls. Um, a couple of the comments was, hey, why don't you do a video putting them together and maybe doing some shots. So, with that being said, that's what we're going to do today. So I've tore everything down and I'm going to start from scratch. Um, I did post some uh, photos on the Syndicate webpage from my death specialist. Um, I actually use these even though they're for a six inch. I, I actually able to use it for my six scale for my Hot Toys. Really cool. Don't know if I'm going to set it up that way today or not. Um, I got some stuff over there I haven't unboxed yet, so I might sort of do an unboxing and keep it six inch. I don't know. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna gather my thoughts. As you can see, everything is tore down. Let's build something and then we'll shoot it. Be right back. We're back. Okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think. I do know this. I think I'm going to make Captain Rex the star of this one because I really like, I really like this fig. So I think that's what we're going to do. So Cap, you stay over there. I do know that I'm not going to use the blast door. So we can put that aside for now. Now, all these little yellow mini binders. I still need to get something to, to keep those in, but I will tell you this. I'm going to use some light panels because I actually want to try something with a red LED light. Um, the half cylinders, um, I really recommend these because they actually make good supports for your walls. So the first things first, I'm going to sort of just lay it out in my my head here on what I'm thinking about. See if I want to do a double, you know, make this sort of a smaller um, thing or a larger one. I really, I really dig these light panels. The light panels are really, really cool. And I'll probably use one of those. And this is actually really, uh, I think, a, a really good way to do it. You just sort of lay it out facing you you can visualize it see what you think and you can tweak it as you go so let's build this puppy so there's a couple ways of actually doing this uh, with the six scale these came in really really handy so what we can do is just start flipping things over that's going to be on the outside so I want that on the inside Flip this over, flip that up like that. All right, little mini clips. And this is really, really simple. It's not, the, the Space Walls um, Global Trading Company, they really put a lot of thought in these things when they, uh, when they design these. It's a simple, it's a simple concept, but it's really, really cool. So basically, just want to make sure everything is close to flush as possible. I usually just go along the bottom side first. And you don't need to put a lot of clips. I've, you know, one at the top, one at the bottom. Seems to work really good. I always leave it just one at the bottom. That way I can, I can use my finger and my thumb to check for flush. Then basically you just repeat at the top. And don't worry if you actually lose these things. Yeah, they're they're orange or orangish yellow, but Home Depot, Staple, uh, Staples, Walmart, they all have some. So, I, so there's the wall right there. Don't do that. <laughs> wow. That was, and you know what? I'm even going to leave that in there. I'm not even going to cut that out. That was, that was good. 
So basically, now I want to look at it from my perspective. Okay, I'm digging it. Flush everything up. Now, the, the half cylinders, they can be a little tricky, but they're not too bad. What I have, through trial and error, if you're not using any of the other uh, space walls at the time, stack them up, take your assembly, put it on top of them, and that all three of them just about lines it up perfect. So, get it lined up, get it pinned, repeat, then everything could be fine-tuned here in just a second. And one more, and carefully, voila. Now we can take these, because we're not using them anymore. We'll rotate this around so you guys can see the finished wall. And now you can actually go through and fine tweak everything. Make sure it's nice and flush. All right. All right, so the wall is built. Uh, I might go ahead and put in another couple of uh, uh, walls. I've got some extra pieces here because I'm, I'm, I might use my top plate. I don't know yet, but uh, either way, I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. All right, so I did add a couple of extra pieces on the side. Um, this is sort of what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know for sure yet, but just so you just so you guys understand all right so this is just some extra panels this is that piece of plexiglass that i painted that gives it the uh the effect of, of sort of a roof line so basically i just using my extra two panels as prop supports got my uh captain rex and going to basically position him in here. Let's see if I can get him all geared up here. How cool would it be for Captain Rex to have a lightsaber? <laughs> That's what I ought to do, just put a lightsaber in his hand. All right. This thing going. I probably should have done this before I started the video. Apologies for this uh, slow moment here. Trying to get the. Uh, I haven't actually fooled with this one much since I got him. So his hands are still really, really tight. So let's just do this for now. All right. Sort of a daunting pose right there. All right. So, got Rex, uh, got Captain Rex, and the next step is I want to add I want to add a little bit of lighting. So I've already got my strobes. I've got LED behind me. I've done some with the white uh, light in the back, but today. Pardon me as I go to the back of the diorama. Today I actually went and got a red LED. And I'm sort of really digging that red LED through the, the panels. All right, so let me get my camera. Um, I'm going to set a few things up and we'll take some pictures. I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. All right, so got things set up. I've actually got the lights off uh, in my room right now. I've got a studio light right here. I've got one right here. Um, as you can see, I've got the red light behind the actual uh, 
Space Walls. Got Captain Brex sitting right there. And here's the thing. I actually, these little, these little push lights right here, these are great. Push lights, and you get them square, small, little, runoff batteries. But if you, if you see, I've got some good lighting, but I don't want to light it up too much because then I'm not going to get the red. So I don't want to overpower it. But, you know, the fig needed something. So I grabbed the push light, put it right there above his head, and you can move it forward a little bit. Now I just lit the face area. Very simple, easy, not hard at all. Um, I've actually got my camera set up um, in live view right now because I want you guys to actually uh, be able to see the screen. I know you're not going to be able to see it great, but at least you'll be able to see some of the stuff. Uh, I've also got my remote trigger because I'm shooting at a pretty slow shutter speed right now. And any vibration from even pressing the shutter will absolutely uh, blur out the photo. So in live view, I can look at it. I can adjust my, my shutter speed, see what I like. I can actually recompose it pretty quick. Lock it back down. And voila. You can also, you know, you can also um, utilize your timer. Once you get your shot composed, then you could go to your actual uh, timer, compose the shot. I think I got my, uh, I think I got my actual, there it went. <laughs> I got my, I got my beep off, so I can't, I didn't hear it. But me personally, uh, and, and that'll, that'll work great. Uh, the thing I love about live view when it comes to shooting uh, these figs is, especially if you're doing a video, I can actually look at it a little bit quicker and get things recomposed pretty quick on what I particularly like. All right. Let's get this bad boy focused. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Take that off timer, because, and for things like this right here, I'll set up and do a single shot. I don't do uh, high speeds, but this way I can actually, uh, Compose exactly what I'm what I'm looking for. All right, let's put that back in live view. That looks pretty cool. Take another one. All right, take this a little bit closer. Zoom out on a little bit more of a straight shot. Tip that down just a hair. off real quick you know me I like to actually uh, show you a picture or a photo so I know you won't be able to tell it good but there it is right there so yeah this is sort of down and dirty um, quick little you know video to do this and just have some fun goofing off with this uh, space walls thing so if I wanted to swap out real quick, I'm done with him. Let's grab, uh, let's grab Snoke here. All right, same principle. We'll put the uh, panel back up on top. Make sure his throne is centered on the, uh, the red panels. Give him a little lighting right there on his face. Bring the camera back over. 
Throw this thing back in loud cue again. Come on. Matter of fact, I'm going to change this up a little bit. Lift this up just a hair. Now, got to compose the way I want, and I think that's about right. There it went. Let's focus again, and take one. Nice. All right. I think that turned out pretty good. So, you know, the beauty of the space walls is once you actually get, you know, something set up, sort of what you're looking for, then uh, just line your figs up, rock and roll, um, see what you can come up with. As I'm sitting here talking to you, I saw something I wanted to try. I don't know if it'll work, but I want to try it. I wanted to see, oh heck yeah. I wanted to see what a actual like crazy close up of his face would look like. Oh, that's pretty badass right there. Not gonna lie, it's pretty badass. As you can see, I'm actually not using the uh, the actual timer anymore, the uh, remote anymore, just for the fact that uh, I've been doing this long enough that I can get away with sometimes uh, shooting it on, with my hand, but I'm, st I'm still on the tripod, but this centerpiece actually rests on my, my thigh, so. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll try to do some of the photos and throw them at the end of the video, but this is it. Down and dirty space walls. Me up here in my little office, setting things up, doing some uh, big photography. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, keep the comments coming, share my videos. Uh, I appreciate it all. And as you can see, there was somebody actually asked me to actually do this. And here it is, down and dirty. Doesn't take much to do it. You don't have to have expensive gear. You don't have to have, you know, studio lights. Um, let me just show you real quick. So if I actually turn these off, that's how much that red LED is. And now that we've actually turned it off, let's see something here real quick. Now this changes a lot right here. Now it's getting some really slow shutter speed. This is where you really need to, you need a tripod. When you start getting down into, like I'm shooting at a, a 20th of a second right now, they will be blur if, uh, if you don't use a timer or something. These are cool. I'm really, really digging. I squirrel on everybody. Here I was closing my video. And, uh, I see a, I see another shot and a squirrel. That's me though. That's me as a photographer. I do that a lot. I'm really digging. But anyway, okay. So enough of that for now. Let me. Uh, you know what, let me, let me just flip the lights back on. I'll get down here in the floor, we'll be all comfortable. All right guys, that's it. Um, space walls, Star Wars figs, photography. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And again, keep the comments coming. And man, like, like my videos, share them. Let me know what you think. So until next time, this is Greg, Greg Cook Toy Photography. I'll see you later.